Now I'm joined here at Bishop's Gate by the Longford Town Manager Dara Doyle and Dara Longford Town superb for 44 minutes the first half, leading by two goals to nil, and then just it's the twilight zone. Yeah, no, it, it was like you say we we started the game really well. We were we played some excellent stuff in the first half. We really did, and I think we were causing them so many problems, so many issues, and. They couldn't deal with us. It did look like the only chance that they were possibly going to get in the first half was from a set piece or one of the long throws. It was something that we, we've highlighted all week. We knew that was the threat that they had. We can see just before half time, if we deal with that and go in a 2 0 up, it's possibly a different half. We go in at half time as it was 2 1 down, but telling the lads and praising them for how well they've done because they were excellent in the first half. And then, it's, let's be honest, it's a bit of a collapse in the second half to concede five goals and lose the game 6 2. And we conceded four set pieces in a 15 minute spell. Mm -hmm. It was one of the main things that we'd said to the lads on going in from throw ins and corners and set pieces that we need to deal with them better and how to deal with them better. And that's what we didn't do. We didn't deal with them and we've been punished. And it's a really disappointing one. Yeah, and Carlton Lubrizano, of course, he had a bit of time here at Blanc yeah. Town, but played by injuries, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Come off the bench and scored a hat trick against his former club. Yeah, listen, and I think any player that would play against their former club. Will always feel that they have a point to prove, and he certainly done that to me. He certainly has, and um, six points off top now with three games to go. You have to be realistic. It's mathematically still there the title, but realistically speaking, needed to get the win tonight to keep the pressure on. But the playoffs are beckoning, and Montford Town have a good game against Cavendish. A good tough game away to Cavendish, who stopped their losing streak with a good win tonight away to Cove. Yeah, no, they did, and you're right. It's before the game tonight. Had we picked up the the result we wanted, and which for the first part of the game looked like it was going that way, it would be in contention. We're not now up personally for the for winning the league. Let's be honest. What we do need to do is regroup, go again. And it is, like you said, a huge game against Calvertini. Now next week we've had a win, it brings them up level on points for ourselves. We need to make sure and cement the place in the playoff and show three good performance in the games. We need to have consistent performances in each half of the game because we haven't got that this evening. And um, yeah, we need a reaction from the group in the game next week because it's, it's, it's another game, big game, which, which every game is from now to the end. And uh, Dean Byrne, uh, like, he's probably not fit enough for 90 minutes because he had a bad injury, a yeah. long layoff. Um, was he carrying a knock tonight? Or did yeah, he just feel he needed he, to He'd, he'd come back in, obviously, and he's, he's played seven games in a short space of time after being out for six months. I'm delighted with him. And um, like I say, he'd done excellent last week. He came off a little bit early, sort of, to protect him. But then over the weekend, he started to feel a little bit soreness, a little bit of pain, a little bit of swelling. So we sort of managed him this week in the hope that he may be okay for this evening. Um, it was the case that we, he wasn't. So um, we, we've... we trained all week with the potential that he wouldn't be in the starting eleven, so that's not an excuse for, for anything with him not being in the team. We obviously miss a player like Dean Warren when he's not in the first eleven. Um, but Long for the we were excellent. excellent in the first eleven. Brilliantly we were yeah, no, not that we did, but um Yeah listen we we'd hope that he'd be back in contention again next week and it's it's really disappointing to lose the game in the manner that we have tonight. And then uh, Calvin Teeley, and then Cove come to Bishop's Gate, yes. and then finally Wexford. So Wexford always tough for Longford Town to get results down in Ferry Carry Park as well. But you'll be saying to me one game at a time. No, and, and, and it is one game at a time, and that was the case tonight, and it didn't go away tonight. But listen, we, we'll be ready, we'll regroup, and we'll get going again for next week because the simple thing is we have to, and we have to make sure that, that we as a club are in these playoffs because once we're in there, we have a chance. And that's the thing. And we've got a group and we've got some players that can cause the injury problem. So I'm pretty really confident that we can we can get the results needed to ensure that we're in there and then it's up to us to do the business in the And a lot of the teams around us, they all have to play each other, so they're yeah. all gonna take points. No, it, no, it is gonna happen. It is gonna happen. So listen, we just have to concentrate and look after ourselves. If we do that, we'll be in those playoffs and, and, and then it's you know, like I say it's a game at peace, you win your game, you're in the next playoff, you win that playoff. You're playing nine plays from the from the Premier Division, so it's not a case of previous years where you've had to win over six games. It's won three games three this games. year, so it's it's a better chance than the previous year. So we just and of course that's been changed due to the COVID. So yeah, no, exactly. So we, we need to make sure we're ready and we're ready.